I'm gonna show you how to change the battery in a smart key fob from Mazda. Now this is from a 2018 Mazda CX-5, but Mazda used these keys all throughout the 2010s and your car probably has one that looks just like this or very similar. It might just have two buttons depending on your car's features, but it should work all the same. There's a couple ways to tell if your fob is dead. For one, there's a little light here. When you push the button, it probably won't work anymore. Now this one still has some battery, but the other way to tell is my car actually told me in the dashboard, it says that your key fob is low. I'll give you a look at what that warning light looks like. I ordered two batteries because I have two keys. You might as well replace them both at the same time. Before you break into this, you need a 2025 battery. They are pretty inexpensive. I'll put a link to one in this video. So to open this first, there is a backup key in case your fob totally dies and you can't get into your car. There is an actual physical key hiding back there. You just slide that little button out like that. I'll show you again. Hit that button, pull it out. You can leave that to the side. And you're gonna need a little screwdriver. This one's a little big. You don't need one quite this big, but this should work. And inside you will see a couple grooves here, one on this side and one on the other as well. So you're gonna take your screwdriver and just stick it in there and then twist it. You'll feel it pop up just a little bit. Do the same thing on the other side, go in there, twist it, and you'll start to notice that you get a little area here. Take the screwdriver there, same thing, twist it up, you'll hear it pop. That side, same thing on this side. There's the pop, and then you can get the rest with your hands. So you can pull it off like that. Your battery is under here. And just to make sure if you want to pop it off beforehand, yeah, you have the same battery. It is a CR2025, which is what this is. So you're going to pull that little battery cover off, just a piece of plastic. Don't need to unscrew it. It just attaches to there. There's a little rubber ring around it. Make sure that that stays on. Pull your battery out. Make sure you see what side is on. It is the side that says 2025. The other side is blank. So make sure that side is up when you put the new one in. Get the new battery. Same way, 2025 is facing up. Slide it just under that little lip. Pop that plastic cover back on. Just like that, you can feel it set in there. Take your cover and just pop it back on. Like that, put your key back in and just test the button. Look for that red light, should be good to go.